Right, what have I got today? It's, well, I was going to say it's a what, but it's not, it's a small one. Bush, but it's got a bit of a bush to it. Okay, so we are looking at something from, well, they sent me a load of stickers. Um, I did get this from my own money, though. Um, ifixit.com. They do loads of stuff to do your phones and your laptops and stuff like that. And I've been talking to people recently saying, no, you need to get Japanese industrial standard heads and you need to get special Phillips heads and all this. And then someone said, just try the iFixit stuff. It's specifically for electronics and things like that and see what you think of them. So I thought, okay, I'll give them a shot. So there's some little stickers so you can go around and terrorize the neighborhood and stick them on your forehead or whatever. Boosh, get, get rid of that. So this is the iFixit Moray. Now, what does that mean? Well, it's like the Moray eel. You know, those big eels where they've got the huge, massive heads and they'll, they'll take your fingers off if they're given half a chance. So this, uh, I, I have used this. I've used this on the back of two HP laptops and I used it on another piece of electronics, but I, I've obviously put it back in the box because I want to show you exactly how it comes. So this is how it came just in this with the daft stickers so this is what you get so they are calling this the moria precision bit set compact for tackling big jobs so this is an idea of what it looks like there is a cover obviously that goes on here and then there's like a an extruded foam which is, is the back end and then you have a driver so it's a driver bit set basically but instead of the quarter inch which we, which you normally get on most sort of stuff uh, in fact i've got one knocking about so this is like your quarter inch it's precision so they, they, there's your standard sort of quarter inches. These just happen to be PB Swiss tools. These are smaller. These are the four mil. In fact, I think it says, yeah, it does there on the side there. So they are four mil. It's a four mil driver you get there. In total, though, 32 bits. So that's pretty impressive for this size. Now, I realize, I mean, at work, I use, you know, daft things like this. This just happens to be a cheap one. This isn't a particularly good one. But where you get millions of, millions of heads, do you really need all of them? Probably not. Probably not. And there's multiples of the same because they do wear down. And But the problem with ones like this is it's like, you know, mystery metal from Planet Krypton. And it's like pound shop stuff, dollar store stuff. And it grinds down to nothing and it becomes extremely infuriating. So you can get one of these if you're doing it sporadic fixes. But if you're doing them, a lot of them, you're probably better off getting something a little bit better. And in that, in that regards, a kit like this makes no claims on what alloy they're using. Whereas at least on this, they're actually telling you it is S2 steel. So, okay a step up and, and at least have said that so anyway um and so that that's like your standard little driver there so there's there's just like your cheap cheap ones and because it's precision you have your cap there which allows you to do this sort of thing and then you can extend that one and, and do all sorts of daft things but there's your little head there okay so get shot of that bush because i'm not reviewing that so as you know i quite like precision drivers and at the moment, especially in the house, I use a set of PB Swiss ones because of the, the beautiful profiling on the heads and the fact that these caps are beautiful. They spin lovely, they're dead smooth. Listen, silence, no noise, extremely smooth, beautiful, almost like it's floating. It's not maglev and it's certainly not like a, a fluid bearing or anything like that, but it's beautiful and you can pop them off and it's just perfectly machined to work. That is, that is smooth as butter there, perfect. And then they have the PB Swiss handles. But if you want like a driver set, so instead of having this, and then you've only got the option of, a, you know, a couple, a couple of those heads and then a couple of the, the sockets, you think, well, hang on, I need a lot more than that. And in this case, you get 32. So let's have a quick look. Before I take it out, let's have just a quick look at what you actually get here. So you get Phillips, Pentalobe, in other words, for the um, iMac, sorry, the, the Macintosh stuff, iPhone, Apple stuff, because uh, I like inventing slightly different heads to annoy people. Um, your standard flathead, Torx, which is uh, becoming a lot more popular now. Then you have the, the annoying security Torx. I had that recently where, well, put it this way, I, where I was, I had a torque set and not a security torque set, so I had to get a DeWalt drill out with the thinnest drill I could find and create and drill the bit that I had. So it was a nuisance. It took 10 minutes anyway. So they do have the security ones, which is nice to see. You have your triangle, your tri-point um, game bit, which I've never heard of. I don't know if that's on the back of like um, Nintendo stuff or whatever. Metric hex, which is your standard hex driver. Obviously, you know, four mil though, and your nut driver, which goes over the top of nuts. And then you have standoff. I've never seen that. Another invent invention by iPhone to stop you, you know, fixing stuff that you legally own. And an oval bit, which I haven't seen. Or, I mean, these obviously exist, but I just don't come across them. And it says here, be agile, blah, 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 blah. Right, and enough waffling. Let's get this thing opened again. Okay, so like I say, this is the Moria kit. Now here it is. 
to look at. Now, I've done this in 4K, so I'll give you a slow look around. Now, there's no catch or anything or hinge because this uses magnets. So fit and finish is decent. It's pretty good. A few little nicks here and there. But I was happy when I opened this. And then when you open it, so that way, you will notice that on the inside, magnet, 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 magnet. And then this becomes a sorting tray. And I've put the little silicon back in. That was that was in the packet. So the, the, what, what, what's the point of this lid, just to begin with? So basically, if you're busy, I've done this myself where you're busy with a laptop or whatever and you put the you put the screws out. I tend to like put them out how I, how I took them out. So if I took out a one top left, I'll put it there. And, and then the wind blows or you knock it with your elbow or some idiot moves a, a book or something and they all roll over the place. And you think, oh my God, where was I? At least with this, there's slight segmentation here. So you can see, right, well, I'll, I'll put all the back and screws in that one and then the other screws in that one. Very nice. This itself isn't magnetic. That's just like an ABS plastic. But the magnets are here and here, and that's why, if you listen, clip, clips together. That's okay. And if you put that in a pocket or whatever, that's absolutely fine. But I think if I was putting this in a larger, more open tool case or a, or a bag, I, I, I'm probably going to have to... I might keep this in my desk, but if I take this out, I'm probably going to put an elastic band around because, yeah, magnets are cool, but they only provide so much of a retention if you know what I mean but it's good listen you know it, it, that's quite a nice seal it, it, it I'm confident I'm confident with that but if I was taking this out in a larger bag where it wasn't compressed against anything I'll probably put an elastic band around but it's okay so there's your 32 bits let's have a look now you've got this foam insert here this foam insert reminds me of the inserts that you can get on the Sotomo stuff Sotomo is like a German Thing that I've, I've been looking at for work where you can get them to custom laser cut out your, your, your a profile for the tools that you use and that reminds me you've got this sort of blue layer and then the black layer on the top now interesting look they are like up to a side like that it looks like a game of guess who you see how they're up to the side like that so unlike something like this where it's just up and down and nothing else which is okay but it's a bit of a nuisance to get in it's it's, it's a bit like going onto a pin cushion you know from Hellraiser to try and get them and you, you poke yourself at least with this you can just put your finger and lift and take them out pretty nice retention's okay this is these are obviously slightly bigger than the hole so the foam expands so pretty nice and there's the heads there I'll give you a closer look in a moment I've done this in 4k and we'll zoom in and all that good stuff and they are claiming this is s2 steel so spring steel very very nice look decent there's nothing when I look at this where I think, oh god, that head looks a bit mm, like someone's just had a bad day and went, yeah, that'll do. Stick it in the box. It all looks pretty decent. I'm pretty impressed. In that regards, this does come with a lifetime warranty. Now I did go and read the lifetime warranty because I thought, okay, is it a real lifetime warranty? And if you go and read the lifetime warranty for I fix it, it's quite funny because somewhere in there it says something along the lines of we will cover everything as long as there's no violence, which is a bit of a strange thing to mention. So I don't know if someone's you know, try to use it as an ice pick and, and play a cliffhanger or something. But anyway, here is the driver. So like most precision drivers, you have your cap, which rotates independently. Then you have this section, which is plastic. Listen. So that's plastic. This is plastic. Then you have a knurled section, which is, it is quite nice, but it's not. It's soft. If you look, my thumbnail, see it pushing in? It's nowhere near like a PB Swiss Swiss grip, which is like beautiful perfection. But the, there's a price difference here. You know, this is like under 20 bucks, but it's okay. It's in, it's enough. And you're not putting a lot of torque in something like this. And then you have this, which is sort of, it feels sort of metallic, but I'm not sure. But the heaviness, I think, comes from the fact there is a magnet down there. You see that? Because this is magnetic and that helps retain the bit. So if you were to take a bit out and pop in the four mil bit there, and just so you can see that it does have it written on. We go, what, which one is this again? So PH000, so a triple zero Phillips there. Look at that. Let's get a nice shot of that, look. Pretty nice profile. There's no major, I mean, there's a few little tiny dings there, look. It's not absolutely, put it this way, it's not PB Swiss level, but it's not PB Swiss prices, is it? Okay, so pop that in and click there. Now that isn't coming out because of the magnet. You can pull it out. There, you can force it out, but and then you would use it like that. So you would do that, and then you would put that into the hand, and then make your adjustments like that. Now, the first issue I had with this is, listen, 
I'll put it as close as I can, listen. Yeah, that? Now compare that to a PB Swiss. So I'll just pick one of these. This just happens to be a Philips PB Swiss, right? Listen. Look, I'm rotating that, listen. I'm rotating that really fast by doing that almost like a turbine. Can you hear anything? I can't. Now that's because that's extremely well engineered. This feels like a bit of a second thought. Listen, there's a, there's a, I don't know how to explain it, but there is friction there. And I think it's because this is almost like an afterthought. I think I know why. And it's because they've tried to be clever and add another feature. So rather than with the PB Swiss tools, it is a cap and it serves its purpose. You know, it serves its purpose to allow you to do that. In this instance, the thought, let's be clever, let's do this differently. So instead of having a flat top, it's open. Well, what's the point of that? Because they've added this. Now that is, they are calling that a SIM ejection tool. So on most uh, mobile phones or cell phones, if you want to call them that, if you want to get the, the SIM card out, you would use a SIM ejection. Although to be fair, as we move on, we're, we're moving towards eSIM and things like that. So you probably won't necessarily need a, a physical SIM, but, if you do need to get them out, that is what that's for. I mean, most people just go and find a paper clip off the floor and bend it and use that, but that's not what that's for. And that is a dedicated tool. But because of that, you've got, see, look at that, right? If I get a nice close look at this, if I get the right angle, right? Look at that, see how rough that looks. Look, I don't think that's a particularly good finish. So the bumps look. I mean, what's all that about? I, I might get the Dremel out and fix it, but I shouldn't have to get the Dremel out and fix it. And when you're getting something that has a lifetime warranty, you would expect something a bit better. There, can you see? It's not perfectly channeled. So, now is this representative of everything they sell? I have no way of telling that, but all I can say is, from my experience, you see that bump there? I mean, what's all that about? Look, that's almost like... But look, it's coming off. So a little bit annoyed by that. I'm hoping that if I grease this and Dremel it, but again, I shouldn't have to do that. So listen, you can hear that. I'll put it near the mic. So I'm not lying here. So I would say quality wise, this feels lovely. Um, the balance is a bit strange. So it's like top heavy. And by that, I mean head heavy. So if you're using it like this, it, try, it, it wants to, it, the equilibrium point is way forward, but I suppose that's by the way they've designed it, and they could have made it a bit longer or heavier here. But anyway, that's by, by and by. If you use it in this configuration, it's not much of an issue. But I'll just say this driver needs a, a bit of a rethink. It's functionable, but listen, that to me just makes it feel a bit cheap, and it's not pleasure to use, where on something like this, it's an absolute pleasure. It's blessed to use that, look. Beautiful. So possibly need to rethink that i don't know why they didn't just rethink that and get the sim ejection tool and add it here like a little thin one perfectly easy to do so in regards to the heads let's have a quick look at them so we'll have a look at the nut driver so i want to get you a nice close look in 4k so it's okay it's it's okay i've got no major problems with that it's fine that looks okay it's a slight step up from dollar store stuff no problems with that and then let's have a look at the, there's that standoff one, which I'd never heard of. I think it's some iPhone-y type thing, so that's quite interesting. I see that. Again, it's okay, it's okay, it's fine, it'll do the job. And then you have, let's have a look at the small one. And this looks like a small hex. Get it to focus, there you go. So there's a small hex again. That looks pretty good, pretty decent, a nice and tape at the end. Yeah, pretty decent, No, no issues there. And then you have your torques. Now this is a torque security, so you have or borehole or whatever you want to call it. Now I think that looks slightly offset. Look, let's get that to focus. I could be wrong. No, I might be wrong. No, I think I'm wrong. I am wrong. I will admit it. I thought that the hole was slightly off, which didn't feel feel with much good thought. No, that's fine. That's fine. Again, spring steel S2 is their claim. And they're all S2s, with a, and they, they do have a warranty on the spare parts as well, which is nice to see. And then we'll have a look at the slotted. I'll use the biggest so you can see the profile better. Now, profile-wise, pretty decent. It's okay. 
it's okay. It's not quite as good as the PB Swisses where they come to it, where they have like a a hollow grind and a hollow grind and then a perfect flat. That 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 almost looks chiselled. It's okay. No, it's fine. It's okay. It's pretty good. It looks clean. And then we'll have a look at the Phillips. I want to look at one of the larger ones so I can get a good look. There's the middle one. This happens to be a PH1, so Phillips 1. There you go. Again, that's fine. There's no sort of burrs which fill me with dread when I see those on edges. Everything looks angular and nice. There's no gunge or weird bits there. No, that's absolutely fine. So I would say these are definitely a step up from something like a dollar store set and you're getting that warranty. So let's look at the pros and cons because I've gone on too long here. I'm trying to keep this short. So lifetime warranty, and I have sat and read the warranty to make sure that they actually mean what I think they mean, and they do, um, as long as you're not sort of using them to murder people and try and, you know, take out a tank or something. They will honour that. Um, it's very small and slim, so if you look at this, if you imagine if you are going out to do a job there, you can just go boom, get that in your pocket. I mean, that's small. That is smaller than you would get with a lot of these power banks, so really, really small and slim. I like the... I like the footprint of it. I like that. It's got a sensible selection of bits. I mean, I think that's sensible. You know, your Phillips and your and your flatheads are going to be the most of your stuff, and then your torques for a lot of stuff. It depends what what you what it is that you're dealing with, but you could tailor that and maybe carry a smaller set. I don't know. It's got a magnetic lid. Um, although I would have liked to have seen magnets under here to maybe retain things in place. Um, but although that's a pro. I think it's also a con if you're putting this in an open bag with other stuff. I think there's a chance that might open. But even though it might open, these are retained by friction. So look, see that coming out there? There's friction keeping that in. So if I put that upside down, shake, nothing's coming out. They are in place, which is nice. And I like the way that they stand up like that. Much easier to get. You just do that and pull the bit out. Much, much easier than mucking about with some of these other ones where it's like a pin cushion. Um, the SIM tool it could be seen as a pro, but I think that's probably what's leading to this roughness of the head cap, which is a little bit annoying. So cons, that rough, that roughness, I think that needs sorting out. I know this is under $20, but if you're saying this is the be all and end all, fantastic. Lifetime warranty, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, well, fix that then, because it's, it's not that difficult to fix. And this is Taiwan made, so although you will see things saying German this and contact the head office German that, it isn't a German tool. It may have been designed there, but I don't fall for all this. I get annoyed with things like this. So you, you pick up something like this and you go, right, look at this. America, America, right, aye, America design made in Taiwan. I don't care where it was designed. No one's going to read that and go, ah, oh, thank God, and then read that and go, oh, well, I don't care. That that bit is the most important. If you were going to buy a parachute right now, would you, and it said right, designed in I don't know New York City, you know, made out in Mongolia, would you use it? Probably not. And I'm not having to go people from Mongolia. What I'm saying is, I don't care where it was designed. It with a tool, it's workmanship that counts. And I'm and again, I'm not having to go to Taiwan. I've got stuff from Taiwan and they're fine, but I just. A lot of these things, they try and hide that away and they say, design, this is designed in Germany. Right? It may well be designed in Germany. Could have been designed in it in someone's, you know, a shed in someone's back garden in Germany. But where's it being made? So I wish they'd make that a bit more apparent. The only place I could find that was right here next to the barcode, Taiwan. Yeah, thanks for letting me know eventually. You know, they're going on about quality and everything else is covered. And, and they've gone out their way to give you all stickers and everything, but let us know where things are made. You know, this, this is the reason why, you know, if you go for a Knipex, they've got, it's written all over. It's got it made in Germany, made in Germany. Uh, she'll just have that, yeah, made in Germany, you know, made in Germany and all that. Great. But let us let people know. So those are the cons. Taiwan made, but that's not always a problem. It's, it's a $20 toolkit here. It's $20. Let's be real. The rough top section needs sorting out and only a mag lid might annoy some people as long as that's in an open bag that could open but it might be okay okay so i need to give this a mark i think is it is, is a quick and dirty starter kit for someone to have the, the most of the bits they need for laptops and mobile phones and things like that and just handy little game devices and things like that i think it's absolutely fine but bear in mind i'm turning it with tool snob so i'm looking at it from a slightly different angle but for most normal people I think it's absolutely fine and it's definitely a step up from the dollar store stuff or the, the dodgy ones you get on uh, Amazon where they, you know 
15,000 bits. And it's not 15,000 bits and things like that. It's the same as these lights where they say two, 200 billion lumens and they're not. So it's fine, but they need to sort that. I think if they sorted that cap, I would probably recommend this as a first little tiny, you know, a tiny one for people because I think it would be quite nice. And it's it's just nice and slim, nice to have. If you want, I'll have a look at some more of the iFixer stuff. Um, let me know in the comments section if you want me to have a look. I will because this is one of the smaller ones. I will get some. Uh, I think there is a smaller one and a bigger one. You can get 64 bits and all sorts of things like that. I'm glad to have a look. Um, but marks out of 10, I'll give this a 7. And the reason I'm giving it a 7 and being a little bit harsh is because the, the important bit, the bit that you use, is rough. And it shouldn't be. That's, that shouldn't be the case. That is your interaction with the tool. That is the most important bit. In other words, you, you know, you wouldn't put hood, sticky honey and grit on a steering wheel because that's the bit of a car that you interact with and you feel the road and you feel the engine and things like that and how it's moving. That's a quite an important bit, so I think they need to relook at that. Okay, so it just gets a seven. It's fine, good as a starter kit, but improvements could be made. Uh, if you want me to look at any others, let me know down below. But other than that, I am off because I've had enough today. Right, goodbye.